Not just loan merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it! What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. He's not likely to just come out and tell you, so get creative. Yes? Yes? No, you... Not fun. Oh, well done. Goodness. Oh, please. Really? Not funny. Not even a little bit. Ugh. Well done. No, you... Oh, please. Not fun. Really? Goodness, what? You're wasting your breath. Goodness. Oh, please. What a gr- Get away from That works for me. Bruma is a perfect town for a Nord man of leisure. Bracing mountain air, good food and drink, and lively Nord fellowship. Sirok is a good healer. He's a red guard, but you'd think he was a Nord the way he acts. Well, since I like you, I think there's somebody staying with Jurl. Never seen him, but I've heard her talking to someone, and I've seen somebody at the window when Jurl wasn't home. None of my business, but since you asked... I don't know what you're talking about. I don't buy or sell things. Take care. I'm Jantus Brolus. I'm the illusion trainer. Take your time. What a great... Don't try... I like that a lot. You're wasting your breath. Not now. Really? You can't... Oh, that's great. That's really... I like that a lot. Don't... I wish I... You're wasting your breath. That's just... I like that. Don't... Remarkable. What not remark? Is that? Where did you get? You're good. Easterus and I used to be adventurers, but we've retired here. Rumor is far from civilization, but we're ready for a little peace and quiet. You've got a lot to learn. You too.
You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dralis, will be allowed access. The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. For you, of course. Not funny. You're West... Really? Really now? You're such a charmer. You're revolting. I wish I... Really now? That's just talk. Please. Is that so? Not f Remarkable. What a wonderful compliment. You should... What a... You can't scare me. No, you do... Oh, please. I wish... Ugh. That's foul. I wish... Goodness. What can I... Get a... You can't scare me. You're good. I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. But let me explain. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Brayden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, Brayden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Braden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you, so you can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. I heard that some cult called the Mythic Dawn is behind the Emperor's assassination. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. Feel free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. Excuse me. I can't believe this is happening. Please. Please. I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my Braden dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Dralus. He said he was a vampire hunter, and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainhill, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guards sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carius that Braden was a vampire. Of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. And another thing. 
The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. We'll see. I won't... Such adventures. You think that's funny? Don't talk such rot. I can't argue. Not now. I salute you most impre... That's just not funny. I can't... Gracious, what a... That's just stupid. Not now, not late. All right, I get it. I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. <laughs>